and welcome back to the guys gamers we're going to explore a question that i've gotten for a very long time will it fail why are you making a video like this because i get this question quite often from my fan base i actually have gotten it since i started making videos in 2015 people were asking me will this game be a game will it fail will it ever get finished these are questions that i can tell you i've heard all the time and i will tell you the root the actual cause of the questions why am i getting these questions consistently has to do with the belief of the game the more people that believe the more that the game itself gains that momentum the more successful it will be because it has the backing behind it because the people believe in it people's belief is a very strong thing belief in itself is a very strong thing belief attaches value to things the less people believe in it the more drama enters the more doubt enters the more you have stumbling blocks in producing what it is that you're trying to get out there. I'm sure Chris is very aware of this as a game producer. I'm sure he has to deal with this on the, on the daily basis and he's managing people in a way to combat it through making people community managers and hopefully he's assigned the correct people to the task. I think he has. But belief in itself is a very strong thing. For the majority of people, uh, even for those who have the system requirements that the game demands of them, the game is not playable. And it affects the belief. It affects the belief of those who have actually put money into this game. And I say invest into this game because that's what they're doing. They're investing into SIG. People will argue that point. Say this is not a stock. This is not something that I, that I can call an investment. But it's a dream that you believe in, and most people believe in this dream. So they put the money into it. There's a large disenfranchised portion of citizens that want their money back and are screaming, fuck you. Whose fault was it to put thousands of dollars into it? Did they expect it being finished right away after they put the money into it? <sighs> Like, I'm giving them 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. I've heard ridiculous stories of people throwing cash on this game as if it was they were at a strip club just making it rain cash and they just were never going to run out of it and they just kept throwing it at it. And that's not good. That's an addiction. That's bad. People doing that need to realize you need to stop making it rain. Should those people get their money back? Yes, in all fairness, those people should get their money back. If people feel that the obligations of SIG were not met, what they promised not being uh, met, and they stop believing, that money should be given back. But the root of the problem behind the question, will it fail, will it ever come out, is that you have a very large a disenfranchised group of people that stopped believing. That's why they're disenfranchised. They stopped believing in the game for whatever reason. But I will say moving forward that SIG needs to be very careful, that they don't lose the hearts and the minds of the people that are backing it and they keep the belief up through the playability of the game. This is the next big hurdle right now. We were waiting for 3.0, we were waiting, we were waiting. They crammed as much in in 3.0 as they could. There was a lot of glitches and bugs. They've since updated. There are still glitches and bugs. This is the part of the process. This is, this is an unfinished game, and this is what you have to deal with in this new era of game making. Sometimes it does get frustrating. Star Citizen, Chris Roberts, this is one of the first type of fundraisers where gamers were responsible for the backing, the funding. And we have, with nearly 180 million to date, and you have to look at the expenses of the company and the people that work there. That's a lot of money. What are the monthly expenses? You have to look at the average pays of everybody that work there. You have to put the expenses against what it is that they are making. And sometimes people say, "Hey, 180 million is a lot of is a lot of money." No. Not for what it is that they're trying to create. What they're trying to create is an experience like you've never had before. And I will tell you this. I was the person who put $100 plus into this game. I bought a Cutlass. When I first saw Star Citizen in 2015, as mentioned to me by a friend, I said to myself, wow, this game is what I want. I fell for some hype, but I also had some history behind it. I knew who Chris was. I just knew who he was. I knew he was a game producer, and I knew he's created titles that I loved. Wing Commander, Privateer, Freelancer, these types of games. Loved him. They were all under the scrutiny of a game publisher, and the games came out finished like they did old school. Kind of miss it. 
actually. But this is the new way. This is the future now. This is how games will be produced by us. We are responsible for what we spend. And I knew then, not to go whole hog into this, I did a little bit more than I was comfortable with because I believe that much into into what it is that is trying to be created here. How long will you believe in Star Citizen? Good question. That should be the question. Forever is not my answer. Let me just make that very clear. <laughs> I mean, God knows I upgraded my system now to play what it is now for 15 to 20 frames. And frankly, I'm upset and a lot of people should be. There's some people that don't even get 15 to 20 frames per second. So I consider myself lucky regardless of the tweaks and the guides out there by Nubifier and Board Gamer. Those don't fix it. The bottleneck happens at SIG. The problems really are from SIG. And they need to focus on this as the primary problem. The playability has to be the focus now, not the ship design. The root of the problem to the question will it fail comes directly from those who have had bad experiences with the game itself in its current form for the most part star citizen is unplayable by a lot of people now i'm i'm one of the lucky few that can i have low frame rates but i enjoy it and i believe in star citizen i believe in what it is that they're doing because it's never been done before i realize the scope the magnitude of the project that they are creating and let me preface all of this with the fact that there needs to be a return factor people need to feel like they can come back to the game because they enjoyed their experience if they lost Log on and they have a very bad experience their belief will go down that belief needle will turn towards disbelief and the more that happens the more the game will become an unreality but I do believe I continue to believe the needle has been wavering here back and forth because of the experiences that I've had the very shitty gameplay when it comes to the frames per second in combat situations or even sometimes in the station it just Sometimes you just have bad frame rates and it has nothing to do with the fact that you uh, are responsible for it. It's SIG. It's SIG's fault. They need, to be, they need to be put under the gun for this. They need playability. They need that return factor. But you have, like I said, a lot of people out there that put a lot of money down that expected a lot more from SIG a lot sooner. And this is that portion of the people that have the right to think the way they did. I'm not saying that they did it. But before you get involved in any future game funding, realize this is the process. Realize that you are in the process. SIG's being very transparent about everything. I have nothing to complain about that. They're completely showing you the insides. They are telling you the reasons why they're having issues. And so for me, being a hundred dollar investor, not too much of an issue, but I understand you got people that are putting in thousands of dollars that really didn't have the money they, that, to do that in the first place, honestly, and they just went a little crazy and they want their money back and they're upset because they're not playing this amazing game. They wanted the initial kick. They wanted that hit. They wanted it right away and they didn't get it. And now they're upset. And this growing voice, <laughs> this growing voice of upset people uh, are basically swaying the believers. Those that, that didn't put too much into it, that were responsible, that said, you know, hey, I don't know. I don't know. I, I know a little bit, but I'm not quite sure. Here you go. Here's a couple bucks. <laughs> so in is the question really will it fail or how long will you believe in star citizen and thanks for watching the vid guys if you want to help the channel out and support it a little bit more than just liking and sharing click on that patreon button and become a patron today at the games we are giving away all the money back to our community you guys can check out the plan there it's all there and it's for a good cause it's for you guys I'm trying to grow something great check our discord link down below join the community also check out my organization the plexus syndicate we'd love to have you thanks for watching guys see you on the next vid